Hey, Anomaly here, and welcome back to another Quick Bites. Today, we're discussing ancient teachings of the monastery. So, we're going to go over a quick overview of the legendary. Really just read the text and read the tooltip on that one. Um, we'll dive a little bit into how the legendary works, how it heals, what you can do with it. And then finally, we'll go over uh, a couple of quick tips and tricks and maybe some additional clarification. As always, we're going to try and move quick. Keep this short. Let's jump right in. First up, we have, of course, the overview of this legendary. Uh, essentially, the power reads after casting Essence Font, your Tiger Palm, Black Oak Kick, and Rising Sun Kick heal an injured ally within 20 yards for 250% of the damage done. So this is a legendary power. It can be applied to your hands or wrist slot, um, and it is it does drop uh, from Davos in Spires of Ascension. So moving on, how exactly does Ancient Teachings of the Monastery work? First up, it is triggered when Essence Font is cast. Basically, you gain a, 15, a buff for 15 seconds after the channel is finished. Um, again, the buff is applied at the end of the Essence Font channel. It will heal any damage done by Blackout Kick, Tiger Palm, or Rising Sun Kick. Any damage done by those three abilities will trigger the healing. Uh, the healing is, of course, 250% of the damage done. Uh, to a target, an eligible target, within 20 yards from your position. Again, this is not a smart heal, but the healing will target those individuals in your raid who are injured versus those that are uninjured. So again, it will target an injured player over an uninjured player, but it will not always target the most injured player. So, of course, we have a visual. So let's go over a quick little visual for how this works. We have you at the center, of course, here. We have a couple of rings representing 10 and 20 yards away from you. Uh, and you, of course, will have the buff up during this. So first up, we drop a player in. Maybe we'll drop two in. We have player one and player two here, or raid member, group member one and two. Both are injured. Essentially, it's going to pick a random one of them. Um, if player one is at 90% health, player two is at 20% health, it may pick to heal player one, FYI. If we add a third player into the mix again, it's not proximity based, so one and two do not get to be healed first. Any one or any any one of these three players within the 20 yard circle from you could be healed by ancient. Finally, just to sort of reiterate the point, player four or, or raid member four, or group member four, however you break it down, well, they'll never be healed. Um, so it's only within 20 yards of your position. And of course, it's eligible targets, those that are injured. So that is a quick breakdown of the spell let's move on uh, to a couple little additional clarifications and maybe some tips for how to use it. so first up each damage event each damage event will trigger a heal independently what this means that if you do stack up teachings of the monastery essentially the buff you get when using tiger palm uh, that will trigger additional blackout kicks the next time you use blackout kick each blackout kick triggered will also heal so keep that in mind again the buff Ancient Teachings Monastery buff is applied immediately at the end of an Essence Font channel, even if you end it early. Meaning if you wait the full duration, the buff will apply at the end of that. Or if you only let it channel for a second, the buff applies as soon as you cancel the channel at the end of it. Um, again, keep this in mind, it is a 20 yard range from you. This does, means that, this does mean that particularly range players could end up being out of range of you. Sort of keep that in mind as you're going through. Finally. Be aware, always be aware, this is not a smart heal. It could heal a target at 90% health, leaving someone at 20% health sort of struggling. So don't rely on this to um, you know, always get somebody at low health up. Um, so just keep that in mind. Not smart, but it will, of course, heal someone who's injured. You won't ever waste the healing as long as there's an injured player in range. Um, and again, sort of just a general point here, you will still be casting spells when utilizing this legendary. This legendary does not replace you, you know, Basically going into a dungeon or raid and only doing damage in essence fine every 12 seconds. You will be casting Vivify, you will be casting Renewing Mist, you will be casting your other healing spells. So please keep that in mind. So everybody, that's it. That's the quick little overview we have of Antiques in the Monastery. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you guys have suggestions, other spells, other mechanics we should review, to give you guys a quick overview, please let me know either in the comments below or head over to the Peak Discord. See you there, guys. Bye.